SE2. Now let's go and do speed comparison between this one and the iPhone SE2. The iPhone SE3 had that Apple A15 body chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM, where the iPhone SE2 had that Apple A13 body chip inside of it with 3 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see which one's the faster one between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background, as you all can tell. So let us get into it. Let's do phone calls, 321. Okay, kind of difference. Also, the iPhone SE2 is on the left, iPhone SE3 is on the right. So we're going to enter their app stores, 321. And kind of the same thing, not really that big of a difference. Scrolling through, you can kind of see this one was kind of glitching a little bit, but it really wasn't even that big of a deal. Hopping out of these two, so I'm going to do a different one, mail, 321. The problem I would always tell you, the SE3 is faster. The problem I would always tell you within the you know app opening and closing of these particular you know phones is that sometimes you are seeing that when you close out of an application, it is a significantly slower experience hopping out of both, mostly because you are getting like you have to wait until the home button is registered, and that can be something that be that can be kind of like annoying when you're going through and if you're just trying to go use a faster phone, even though this one has a faster chipset than the iPhone 12. This one feels slower than the iPhone 12 because you have to deal with the slowdown of that clicking that button over and over again. So that can be kind of an annoying thing, but beyond that, it's not like the biggest deal in the world. We have some other applications we can test out here too. We can do, you know, Netflix, three, two, one. And I think that's to do with slightly faster, but it was still so close. Let's go and get into Facebook, three, two, one. Again, I think the IC3 was faster there. It's going to do thank you, three, two, one. And this one, I think the SE3 again, like slightly faster, but it was still like very, very close between them both. It's going into snake versus blocks, three, two, one. And you can see the SE3 was slightly faster here a little bit. The SE2 was a little bit slower. So you can see what's going on here too. And basically the same thing. Let's go and get out of both of them. Let's do stack three, two, one. And you can see, at least in my opinion, I think the SE2 was kind of faster. I don't really know what was going on here either. Getting into some of this gameplay though. Um, you can see this one, I mean, definitely glitching up a lot more there. I don't know what's going on with the SE2. Very, very weird. I don't know what's going on with this particular phone. I guess it must have been an ad or something that was kind of blocking it, but that was very weird. Temple run two, three, two, one. And with this one too, I mean, it's a pretty basic game. I think we all kind of know what's going on here too. And it looks like almost a tie, like almost the same as I think going on for both of them, which is actually pretty crazy. So once again, if you're trying to get the phone that's going to be giving you a better experience, I mean, I really don't know from a performance perspective, lots and lots of overlap here. Not really too sure what's going on, but I guess from a performance perspective, that kind of covers it up there if I'm being honest. Now from the camera side of things, you are getting very...